Thanks Gibbs for sponsoring this video. This is the highest quality salmon I was able to find. And today we're going to be doing something I've never experienced before. That is to dry age the whole thing. When it arrived, it was packaged perfectly. That gave me confidence to go ahead and dry age this thing. Now as preparation goes, I did not have to do much. The first thing was to go ahead and tie up some butcher's twine on the tail. As once that was done, I hooked up the dry aging hooks and then into the dry ager he went. Now I've heard that separating the cavity is very important. And I was able to do that with some skewers. Now that this fish is sitting on my dry ager, there's nothing else to do but let it dry age for 21 days. It's been 21 days. I'm a little bit skeptical, but let's open this up. Oh, I can't do this. I need help. No problem. Good afternoon. This is Chef Hiro Terada, the absolute best sushi chef I know. If there's one person that can help me out, it will be him. I am so happy you are here, Chef Hiro, because I cannot do this. I'm here, don't worry, Guga. You're trying to save the situation, right, Hiro? I try, I try, <laughs> I try. All right, I want your honest opinion, okay? okay? You are a professional, you let me know. How does it smell? <laughs> what is that, Hiro? It's a little problem. It's a little problem. Yeah. Someone it... looks great, but smell a little strong. I tell you what, uh, it's a little bit too overpowering to do it inside here. We're going to take this outside. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, Try. Let's, th let's take it outside, Hiro. Maybe I could save some parts, you know? Yeah, it doesn't smell that bad in outside. Yeah, it just reminds me like uh, in Japan, uh, we have a lot of dry fish. Ah. If you go to a store, uh -huh. you can smell like this. It smells like this. Yeah. Hiro, you think we can eat it? I, I need to open, then I can take a look. You, the only way to find out is if right, you open right. it. Yeah. I say it is enough talking and let the master do the work. <laughs> I gotta tell you here, this looks fantastic. I think, you know, the beginning it was smell, but after taking the skin out and the bone, actually not bad. Not bad, huh? Not bad, actually yeah. it's nice and oily and it's soft. I gotta be honest with you, the smell after you remove the carcass, it went away. Yeah, actually I don't, I don't smell. No smell at all. And at the same time, it feels extremely oily. Yes. Oh, is that normal here when you dry age uh, fish? Be honest, I never tried the 21 days aged salmon before. Wow, so this is an experience for both of us. I, I need to have something to compare in order to see if right, it's right. gonna be good or bad, you know what I mean? And uh, we got a fresh one as well. Can you do the same thing with the fresh one? Yes, we can, we can compare. Once Chef Hero was done, this is what it looks like. We have the dry aged fish on the left and the fresh one on the right. Now, if you take a closer look, you can clearly see some difference. The fresh one is nice and vibrant and you can clearly see the separations between the fibers. The dry aged one, not so much. However, I'm really curious to find out if the taste is gonna be any different. And to find that out, we're gonna be doing three different preparations to find out which way is best to have salmon. And here's the very first one. In order to really find out if there was improvement or not. The best way to taste it is to have sashimi style. And for that, all you really need is a super sharp knife and about 20 plus year of experience to cut it perfectly just like this. Because as you can clearly see, it is perfectly cut. And after putting it on a presentation plate like this, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and taste it. On top of that, I'll be letting my nephew Angel, which hates fish, to give it a try. That will be super entertaining. Now the next preparation is gonna be nigiri. And as Chef Hiro was preparing it, he let me know one thing. The dry Dry edge one is extremely tender. It is also super oily, especially when it was compared with the fresh one. However, in the end, they both look perfect. You can clearly see the lines between the fresh one, but take a look at the dry edge one. There's almost no lines. I'll tell you one thing, this tasting is gonna be quite interesting. Now the very last thing to do is to prepare one cooked and at the same time introduce some type of crunch. We're talking about katsu style. First, you gotta season it really good, a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. Then you wanna dunk it in flour and coat the whole thing, followed by the egg wash. Now immediately to breadcrumbs. And if you want extra crunchy, go back to the egg wash and coat it once again with the breadcrumbs. As in the end, you're gonna see that this thing is perfectly coated. Now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and deep fry it. And for that, we're gonna be using vegetable oil. Outside into a wok we went and let the whole thing heat up. 
Now notice that Chef Hiro does not need a thermometer. He just uses his finger as a temperature gauge. I highly recommend not trying this at home. But hey, once the oil was up to temperature, he threw them in there and let it deep fry until it was nice golden brown. As in the end, we got the perfect crust and the only thing left to do is to go ahead and chop it up, put it on a nice serving plate and this will be our final preparation. Remember, every single one was done twice. Once with the fresh fish and the other one with the dry aged one. As now, the only thing left to do is to taste it. So now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Keeps. Keeps is an online subscription service to help you keep your hair with expert recommended hair loss treatments. So which do you want? A lion's mane like this or the Google special? Two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. And if you wanna keep that hair, Keeps offers clinically proven research back treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. With Keeps, you don't have to visit the doctor or the pharmacy. You get quality expert care with treatment plans that are recommended by a licensed medical provider and delivers straight to your door at about half the price of traditional pharmacy. It's three in the morning and you're watching a Gugathon. You brush your fingers through your hair and suddenly have a question for your medical advisor. No worry, they have 24 seven expert medical advisors, prescribers and care specialists. So ask away and come back for the stakes. So whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, Keeps has you covered. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get a special offer, go to keeps.com slash Foods or click the link on the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Foods. Thank you Keeps for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful feast, uh, Chef Hiro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. How was the experience of cooking it, Hiro? Did it felt different? Um, you know, the uh, edged one, of course, in the first I look at it, fish, it's kind of a little scary, right? It's a little kind of smell, but after skin out and then belly out, actually nothing wrong with this. I'm nervous, everybody. I don't know about you. Are you nervous? Dude, what are you guys talking about right now? You guys are making me nervous. Hero saying it's scary, it's smelly, it's oily. What am I eating here today, yeah, Google? Right, it's a salmon, bro. Don't uh, worry, guys. I can go. You want to try first? I can go first. Okay, go first. <laughs> Let us know, Hero. Here you go. I don't get any, any smell. No snow, nothing oh. bad. Only salmon. Does it taste different than a regular salmon for you? I need to try that. Oh, you one. need to try. Oh, that's no. a fact. Okay. Uh, we want to know from the professional first, and then we're going to let you guys know. Tell me if there's a difference. That's very different. In a good way or in a bad way? It's a good way. Oh. Actually, the edge one is more tasty, so I prefer this one. Really? Yes. Wow, so I didn't screw it up. No, you, you guys. <laughs> Safe to eat. It's safe to eat. <laughs> you know what? It'll be interesting to have the fish hater try. Oh, you know the fish hater? Yes, yes huh? I know, I know. <laughs> yes, everybody he has no idea. He just got here. We gotta get him in. All right, let's see right now. Wow, welcome, my friend. What happened? What are you doing? I'm trying to go back. So we have three dishes. I say that we try the very first one. I just, I just try the breaded one. The bread one. No, you're gonna try all of them. No, no, it's a lot. That's a lot right there. Almost there. <laughs> I say we'll try this one here first. Please dig in, Hiro. I mean, Hiro. <laughs> yeah, Hiro, please. I love how you grab the edge. Uh, that way he has no, no other option now to grab but the other side. Oh, he grabbed the other edge. Ah, of course you grab the other edge. And then we have a sauce here. Chef Hiro, what is this sauce? Katsu sauce. Okay. You ready for it, Leo? Ready. Okay, I'm gonna go with you, Leo. I'm gonna go a big piece because, you know, Angel is just yeah, big chicken. Big. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Come on. This, I could eat this. There's no, you can eat that. That's amazing. What do you think, Leo? I love how light wow. and fluffy the breading is. You do get like salmon taste, but it's not crazy powerful. The sauce is really nice, a little sweet too. Salmon is my favorite fish. That is delicious, everybody. This one is good. The fishy flavor isn't really too strong. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that. Let's try this one now. Is that not the same one? No, sir. It's a little bit different. Yeah, let me get this one right here. Oh, you're gonna get the siding again? 100%. Oh, That's boy. exactly what I'll do. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That's interesting. I put more sauce on this one and I taste more fish than the previous one. So definitely the fish on that one is a lot more powerful and it gives a different mouthfeel because that fish is for some reason softer. I think the first one is less fishy. I take the first one. It's extremely, extremely tender, everybody. It's almost mushy how tender it is. Maybe a little bit too tender. Are you ready for the raw one, Angel? No, I'll just keep eating this one. It's no, okay. No, 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 no. What is this? This is uh, the, 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 the something. <laughs> That's something. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. It's going to be great. Trust in the chef. That's right. I don't even know. I don't know. 
Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. What? My heart is telling me that I just like did this too fast. It's tender. <laughs> just like Chef Hiro says, the oiliness and the richness of the fish is incredible. I also agree with here in the sense that it does taste slightly more fishy. This fish is actually better than the other nigiri that we had. I agree 100%. It tastes better, yes. it's more oily, and whenever you combine it with the sushi rice that Chef Hiro made, it's just Amazing. How about you, my friend? Did you enjoy it? The first one we tried, that's been the best one for me, but that's because it's the least fishy. Perfect, because it's time to go for the raw one. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> Angel? <laughs> With that being said, it's time for the truth. Are you ready, Angel? Let's do it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, raw fish not for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a texture thing for Angel because there's absolutely nothing wrong with this fish. It is just astonishing to me how that is upgraded from this. Considering I heard the words scary, slimy, smelly. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Angel, I know you didn't want to hear that, but... No, I was already thinking it. It's okay. <laughs> it's a good fish. It is a good fish. I don't know if I could recommend that you doing it at home. You got to do it in a very safe environment, everybody. The quality of this salmon also takes it in effect. This is as fresh as it gets. And it turned out that dry aging fish is thumbs up. This fish is delicious and thanks Back and Frost for sending it to us so that we can do run this experiment. Their link will be in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting the best salmon there is. It's very, very good. It's not for you. No, no, not for me. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go check out Chef Hiro's channel. Everything will be on the link on the description down below. He's not only a great chef, but a wonderful friend. See you guys on the next one because now we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the fish and give it to Angel. All right, Leo, you grab one arm, I'll grab the other. Okay. All right, guys. What do you mean you grab? No, I'm out of here.